In this video, we're going to find the constant of variation for direct variation problems. This is an example of a direct variation. There's a few reasons I know it's direct variation. One, because it's linear. It makes a line. Direct variation is always linear, straight line, not curved. And two, because it goes through the y intercept at the origin. Okay, so in other words, it's going through zero, zero. So a straight line that goes through zero, zero. It can go up, it can go down, but as long as it's a straight line that goes through zero, zero, then we have a direct variation. And when we have a direct variation, there's something called a constant of variation. Now, if we were to write the standard form, it's y equals kx. And all that means is that there is a slope, and that is referred to as the k, the constant of variation. So all we need to do is identify the slope. The nice thing is, since they go through 0, 0, we can just look at the x's and y's. So if I go ahead and solve this for y, I'm going to divide both sides by x, and I get y over x equals k. And so that little giveaway there will tell us how we solve every problem here. So we're going to go pretty quickly because we take the y and we divide by the x. And it says we're going to write our answer as a decimal or an integer. So let's do this. The y value of 30 and an x value of 20. I could pick a different point, but I just picked one there. So 30 divided by 20, and that's going to be 1.5. In this example, we're not given a graph, but we're still given points. Now, I actually have two points, but I'm just going to pick the first one, okay? So I'm going to do 4 and 36. We do have to remember that when we're doing k equals y over x, the y has to go on top. So this is written with the x's on top, so I'm going to switch it around and do 36 divided by 4, and that's going to be just $9. Another example where we have x's and y's. But again, we have to flip them upside down. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We get 18 over 8. And if we go ahead and type that in our calculator, we end up with 2.25. And that's going to be our answer there. This one looks more intimidating because it's written as a paragraph. It's got a couple sentences. Um, however, we still have two points, just like we did on the last example. There's actually two choices. We can use either one, but I'm just going to use the first one, okay? And it says X's and Y's. So the question is, what goes on top? The 13.71 kilometers on top or the 12 on top? And the giveaway is, it says kilometers right there. So since our, we're answering kilometers, and it says per trip, so we're going to have kilometers on top. If it only lists one thing, that's the thing that has to go on top. If there lists two things, it'll be like kilometers per trip, and you'll have to be able to tell miles per hour, put the miles on top, that sort of thing. So we're going to put the kilometers on top, 1371 divided by 12. And when we type that into our calculator, we get an ugly decimal, but not too ugly. It's just 1.1425. And we can type that in and be done. That's all there is to it. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe. See you next time.